impetuous, my defense is impregnable, and I'm just ferocious. I, I feel I'm the best ever. I broke everybody record. Tell me who record I haven't broke. Colossal Boxing Talk. So what's good? I'm coming to you guys live right after um, uh, Gil Gilberto Ramirez just knocked out. I uh, just TKO uh, Zuniga. Zuniga. He and uh, Valdez pulled out a victory as well, a seventh round KO. Okay, I'm gonna talk about Valdez first. First, I mean, I'm gonna say like this: Valdez, Oscar Valdez, he, he's he's a good up and comer. But what I will say, what I noticed with him, he punches very wide and leaves himself very open, very wide open for uh, for to be countered and to be hit hard. But on the flip side, I will give him credit for taking out um, taking out the guy he fought tonight. I. I I don't. I, I forgot. Uh, you know what? I, I miss. I forgot his name. I apologize for that. But like I say, Valdez was. He, he was. Um. He was semi impressive to me because I mean I felt. I felt he. She, he. Um. I felt his def, his uh, defensive deficiencies. And, I mean they they really stood out and I mean I know a lot of people will say well how many. Mexican guys do you know are known for defense, but the point is it's it's just he, he he leaves himself a little too open and when he starts to um increase his um his competition level I, I see I, I can see him getting in a whole lot of trouble. But congratulations to him for tonight. He did he did a good job. He got the guy out of there like he should have done. So good work. Uh, hopefully he uh he continues to uh strive for better and to get better in his career because I I, I wanna see this kid do good things, but I mean he, he kinda throws me off. But as you guys hear here, Gilberto Ramirez versus uh Zuniga. It was this fight was basically like a showcase fight of what uh Gilberto Ramirez could do. Ramirez came out early and often. He established himself uh, as the boss in the ring. He was landing hooks, uppercuts, throwing the jab, throwing the, uh, the southpaw jab, straight lefts. I mean, anything is anything. Gilberto Ramirez wanted to do against Zuna Good tonight. He was doing, and he was very impressive. He also now he got hit with with some shots that I feel that I feel he should he could have easily avoided. But on the flip side, he is an exciting fighter. And like I mentioned on, on a video a while back about Ramirez, that Ramirez is the type of fighter that he doesn't mind getting in there with you and having an all-out war if, if, that's what you, if that's what you want. Because, like I said, he's a very, he's, he's a very adaptable kid. And, and he has very good boxing skills. I, I, I see... Um, I see Ramirez having a very bright future at uh at super middleweight, and I I I definitely believe he's a future champion on the rise. But in my opinion, I think the perfect next fight for him to really test him against uh uh I'll say a a, a good fighter who's who's very capable. Um, goddamn, I'm. Damn, I just said his name. Uh, sorry about this, guys. Um, the guy, uh, La Bamba, Edwin Rodriguez. I think that would be a perfect, perfect fight for him to uh, to get in there with a uh, with a top fifteen guy in the division, uh, a tough, rugged guy who's gonna bring the fight to him, a guy who has power himself, and a guy who's not gonna. Not gonna shy away just because he feels Ramirez's power. I'm not saying, but like I say, on the flip side, Ramirez, in my opinion, he's he's still like I told you guys a while back. He's he's one of my top ten upcomers in the sport of boxing. I look for him to do. Uh, I look for him to do big things at 168. I definitely see a championship in his future somewhere. But overall, like I say, this this was this was was a good fight card. I mean, both fights were exciting. 
I, uh, I, I was more uh, geared up for the Ramirez versus uh, Zuniga fight, and I mean it. It basically it, it furthermore showed me the, the type of fighter that Gilberto Ramirez will become. And like I say, I'm a hey, hey, uh, shout out to him. Uh, I look forward to seeing his future fights. This kid is very exciting, and. All the top guys at 168, you guys have a problem because th this kid, he, he's here to stay and he's here to make some noise. But, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to hold you guys too long. Hopefully, you guys hit the like button for me. Leave your comments in the comment section about either fight. I will get back to you. Also, um, hit the subscribe button for us. Keep showing the, su the support the love and like i said we're gonna keep coming with videos post fight videos breakdowns all of above even even uh the hangouts which is uh i, I see a lot of you like we, we're gonna keep coming with those as well but like also go to um twitter and instagram follow us at colossal cbt then you can go over to facebook and like our uh page colossal boxing talk this is smooth cat and i'm out